Let's go fishing. channel um yeah fishing today guys um i haven't been for two months uh, and i'm very sorry for my angling subscribers but uh i've had so much going on it's unbelievable and there's other things that come into it as well i might talk about that a bit later i don't know yeah i might depends how personable you want me to get so i'm meeting up with the welsh wanderer Dodds, you've all met him you've seen him on my channel He's the one that snores a lot and farts a lot. So I'm meeting him um, down in a place called Jonkos, better known as Trinant. Down in a place called Bertha here in uh, South Wales. So I'll uh, speak to you at the lake, guys. So here we are guys, we're at the lake now. So I said it's called Trinant here in South Wales. And it's all it's other name is Jonkos. From the guy who owns it. They do um they got a restaurant here on site and they do weddings and things and that, you know. Apparently it's supposed to be superb. But here's the lake. Hold on, let me put it on dual. Yeah, so Dawes is down there. He arrived before me. I wish he would have waited. Cause uh we could have fished together then, but I've chosen this bank guys because um I'd be cast into the to the margin there. Cause the sun always shines on this bank, so it's always warm water. Dawes is pretty new to fishing so Perhaps he didn't know what, but he's got a good feature in front of him. He'd probably fish to the feature, see? There's always going to be fish patrolling around things like that. I'm not trying to teach anyone to suck eggs, guys. Don't think for a minute I'm doing that. But um, as far as the weather goes, I'll put the picture up now. Again, this wasn't forecast. It was forecast for 5 degrees, 40 mile hour winds. And fuck, excuse the language, I'm pissing down. So we got it lucky. So my method of choice today, guys, is going to be solid bags with a 10 mil fluoro pop-up. So I'll uh, get set up now. And uh, I'll get back to you, right, guys? So Tree Nant, South Wales. And we're fishing a day session, by the way. And for two rods, it's a two rod rule. It costs 10 pounds. Cash only. So that's the kind of hook baits I'll be using today, right guys? Small, brightly coloured. Um, there's my solid bag mix, which is a krill active mix, mix, or the bag mix, you know, the one you buy in a bag. I got some, uh, I got some goo. That tends to work well down here, guys, all right? And I got some hemp oil as well. So I'll knock three bags up now and then get the rods out. Right, I'm uh, just going to show you the way I think it's like I got set up here now. So I've got my catch station here with a nice backdrop if we do catch. Everything's squared away on my barrow. I've got my barrow cover out in case it does rain. And that's behind the tree for a bit of camouflage. I go one landing at me to my left. Is my bank sticks. So that's where I'll tie my rigs and keep an eye on the bobbins. Two rods ready to be go uh, bags tied onto, and I got my bivy there just in case the weather does change. That's my brew bag, priority. I'll be casting. Sorry, 
there, one there, and one to the white marker there. So one white marker, two white marker. Just makes life easier, guys. So there's my hook baits, and they are fruit delicious. Ten mil as they are, guys. It's so very small. There you go, guys. So I've just tied up two fresh bags now. So that took uh, took literally two minutes, okay? But that comes with practice, right? So I'll show you in detail later how I tie them. Everybody ties them different. I tie them the way that suits me, okay? But um, it is an easy way. It's um, it's simple, guys, right? I will go run you through it later, so don't panic. I'll show you everything, and that's not... Um, <coughs> You know, there's a lot of lot of anglers on here, guys. Please understand, there's a lot of anglers that are just starting out, okay? I know this is um, Chinese plate to some of you. And it's like, oh, how many times have you seen that? But there is a lot of new anglers out there. So let's show them, and guys, let's bring them on. So it's clouded over, guys. And it's already started to pick rain in, so I put the tighten up. I put a card up now. The review I did on it. It took literally three minutes, if that. I haven't put all the pegs in, guys. I've just put uh, six pegs in. So I'm just going to cover the barrel now, so everything is dry there. And get a brew on a go. Standard. We're in, guys. Get in our net. I'm just leaving the tip of the rod do the work, guys. Here he comes. Is it, boys? Boom. Number one. Here you go, guys. This is a small one, but it's what uh, saved a blank, doesn't it? Little car, man. There you go. Small and beautiful. Scared of park? We're in again, guys. Yeah. yeah, we're in, guys. Hey, right, guys, so we got fish number two on. And a small one, I think, guys. Yeah, another small one. Here he comes. In the net. Fish number two, guys. Very small, it's a bit of a ghosty in them. Very, very small. It was five pound. There you go. Fish number two. Let's get it back. Come fishing, he said. All right, I'll come fishing. I have fucking heard from him for now. Why have you been on a bastard phone? Fucking great company, honest to God. Right, Dan Rod's gonna go now, guys. Here it goes. 
There it goes. Up you go. Come on, you tore the other one's going. Have a look, here we go. The left arm one's going. Carnage, guys. Probably another bastard tiddler. Hold on. Here we go. What it's doing here now, guys, is um, it's nosing around the pellets. It soon come across your bit. So for once, guys, the weather forecast was right. It's not cold at all, though, so they were wrong on our part. But um, yeah, they shed heavy rain. It's very low pressure, as you've seen in the bar they put up. I'll put up again here if you know. You need to look on the far right hand side. That's the pressure, okay? So it's low pressure, so the fish should be feeding on the deck. When it's high pressure, they come up in the water to feed. That's not trying to teach anyone again to suck eggs. That's just for your newbies, okay? Put it back on the spot, guys. Sink in the line. Happy days. Here's one for you guys. What do you call a lazy kangaroo? A pouch potato. <laughs> There's a nice cup of coffee, you know, guys. Oat milk. Game changer in your coffee. A coffee bag. I got these ones, anyone, you know, any coffee bag because they're strong. But oat milk, guys. What a game changer, like. Just lost one there, guys. Now I recast. Here we go, sink a line. Fuck off. Sorted. Gonna have some breakfast, guys. British Army ration pack, all the breakfast. Some Tabasco sauce. And some organic black pepper. I think there's a fish on the left hand rod. I'm not going out there to get my fucking hair wet. So when you open in your British ration packs, guys, right? Don't open them that way. Open them that way, look. It's just easier to get into. Got a fish on, guys. I hope the GoPro's picking this up for you. What the hell's going on here? It's number three, guys. Another small common. I'll chuck him straight back, right? Here we go. Stop raining. Two rods back on the spots. One there. One there. Ah, uh, this is my favourite peg on here, guys. I always fish that back margin because nobody seems to fish there. It's like a bit of a sanctuary for the fish, you know. And of course, I got two nice markers. 
Right guys, I'm going to attempt to show you how I do my bags, okay? I've got the GoPro on my head, see guys? Just put a little bit of pellets on the bottom, okay? Drop your hook bait in. Down one corner like that. Open the bag. Hold on, let me push a bit. And start filling the bag. Keep filling. Tap it down. A little bit more. Right, so pull the lead up. Tap it down. Tap the guy, get all the air out. So get the stem in the middle, like that, right, guys. So I'm lick my finger now. One, two, three, four. Twist. So that's done. Push the corners in. Wet my thumb. Seal it. Push the corner in. Seal it. Bear with. Puncture several times with the baiting needle. Get your goo of choice. Put some in the bag. And there's your bag complete, guys. It's honestly as easy as that and as quick as that. Sink line. Back lead on. Guys, fish number five. This is the first mirror that we've caught. Very small, guys. If I keep on, I guess I will be fucking off. There you go, look. Fucking tiny. So, say, so yeah, give it, give it another hour. He's still small, I guess. I can go in. Let's get it back. So I've just been down to see Dawes now, see how he's doing. He haven't caught any yet. So I've shown him a few tricks, but um he's been spewing. He's not feeling too good. I'm not happy catching his fucking sprats. So uh, we're gonna give it another hour, right? So it would have been four hours fishing, but uh, I hope I've taught you something. But um, I just said the doors now I think it's the uh, the new fish coming through, you know. From the spawning and and, and uh, they just beat in the beat in the bigger fish to the bait. Yeah, so give it another hour. And lo and behold it's fine now, so hopefully pack down in the dry. Back soon guys. Poof! <laughs>
That's a better one guys. Hey, chicken line. I'm not gonna bully him, see guys? Where's the rod going now? Biggest one in the day we got fish number six on and it's the biggest one so far and it's a mirror carp it's definitely the biggest of the day guys and just leaving the rod do the work in you go there we go guys number six in the net guys ah uh, fish number six biggest of the session as you can see probably around about 14 10 15 maybe there we go guys biggest of the day Here we go. Well done. Here we go. Mr. Mr. Welch Wonder isn't blanking. <laughs> oh. oh, come off. Snapped. Snapped? Yep, snapped. Fucking snapped. Snapped. Fuck me. No, oh, thank you. So there we go guys, we are, uh, we both decided to call it a day. It was just lucky to get that larger when it wasn't even big to be honest, but uh, there you go. Yeah, so we're going to pack up now. I hope I've got something in this video you can take away for you newbies. But yeah, all the same, it's nice to get back on the bank. First one for me for two months. Um, yeah, the solid bags guys, simple fishing. Right, let's get parking up. I'll talk to you in a van, right guys? Right guys, so I'm home. So, it was actually three hours fishing. Nine till twelve. So, three hours fishing, six fish. Um, There was two young lads came over to see me before I left. they actually subscribers. I didn't catch their names, but I give them a lot of hook baits. So, I'm sure they'll go on to catch. And um, fair play to them for coming out in the weather. Fair play to him, because he only had um, fishing umbrellas, he did. But uh, better than being sat in the house in front of the bloody computer screen, isn't it, guys? Yeah, so um, first one back from here, as you know, and didn't really feel it, guys. But, uh, you know, I went to a place where it has produced better fish in the past, but I was warned by my mate Adrian. Uh that he went last week and he only caught small fish we buggered off early as well 
So I'm going to go and see the Lily Boo now, and uh, I'll probably get this video up tonight for you now, means I'm home early, guys. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, look after yourselves. Out!